Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin, and earlier today, I posted that video about the teaser that I, me and other Top Drives content creators received from Hutch to post on our YouTube channels. And then also, I'm now making a rundown of everything that appeared in this video that was posted earlier. It's a 17 second clip. If you haven't seen it yet, I'd suggest go watching it before you watch this video. It's the video right before this on the channel. But there are some very interesting stuff that appears in this video. There's some speculation, but also some confirmed stuff, and I just like to go through it and run through all of it as well. But I was very surprised, especially pleasantly surprised, when one of the confirmed things we see is a Audi. So let's just get right into speaking about what we see. So here's the video. I've put it into slow motion just so we can see it a bit better and it doesn't go by quickly, but the cover is removed off of the car and a Audi R8 V10 is revealed which honestly is a pretty cool car. I love the Audi R8. It was my first dream car as a supercar, so I'm definitely happy to see that as a car that's being added to the game. I have an R Audi R8 um, Spider on my account already, but more Audi R8s I would definitely be happy with, and just more Audis in general, because I do really like Audi as a brand, and I was definitely very shocked to see that because i was actually really excited then when i saw the news of what the what was in after not the news but after what i saw was in the teaser trailer that i received and i saw that what we were teased was the brand audi that was probably the number one brand i could have hoped for to see cars be added to audi and mercedes were the two brands i was really hoping to see cars added to so i will definitely take audi because that, that made me just very happy i just love audis in general the rs2 avant even though it's already in the game but still, I, I just really love that car. And then the Audi R8, which was my first dream car. So if there's more Audi R8s out of the game, which is pretty much confirmed, I don't know why they'd um, spend the, they're probably, they probably had to spend money to get this teaser trailer be made. And I don't know why they spend money on that a car that wouldn't be added to the update. So I could say we could strongly assume that Audi is being added to this new update, the World Expo update, and that we will be receiving, or we will be given not, into our accounts, but we will be given the opportunity to be able to unpack the Audi R8 V10 later in the game when it has been updated and it'll be a card that we can collect. I didn't mean to say like we'll actually physically get in our garage and it'll be like, oh, here you go, free Audi R8 V10, but no, but we will be able to have the opportunity to, if we're lucky, be able to get an Audi R8 V10 in our garage, which I'm definitely happy with. I would love to get that car. And then we've got one other thing too, which we know is confirmed, which I will talk about next. So, the other thing is we see this at the end of the video. It says top drives five years and then next to the download now, which means that it is nearing the five year anniversary of top drives being released as like a game, which could lead to some interesting things. Now, this is where I'll just start getting into the speculation right now, because that is it for the stuff that we know that is confirmed and I'd say 99% correct. I know that there is going to be a five year anniversary for Top Travis because you can't change time, but the Audi R8 I'd say is 99% confirmed that we are having an Audi update and that it will be added to the game. I'd say with 99% certainty, but I don't want to say 100% and then for some reason Audi isn't there, but 99% certainty Audi is in the game and that Audi R8 V10 is in the game. But now to get into the more speculation type stuff. So it's all speculation, don't believe everything I say, it's just sort of guesses that I've made. And the first thing is that we might get something cool for the five year anniversary. I'd assume probably a challenge or something that might reward some carbon fibers, some nice prizes and stuff like that. Maybe even a free carbon fiber or just a really easy challenge that could give us a free carbon fiber because nothing is really free. So that would be honestly cool though and I am excited to see what they might do with the five year anniversary for Top Drives because five years is definitely a long amount of time. So it could be interesting to see, maybe we'll get some special events or a special collection series as well. Nothing is really confirmed, but I can say that we could be pretty excited for if anything cool is released for this five year anniversary, um, like event happening. That's the word I was looking for, event. Five year anniversary event. The next piece of speculation is another part from a clip in the um, teaser trailer, which is this logo right here. It looks very similar to the Porsche logo, but as you can see, there is actually text underneath it which says Air Shroud. And with a bit of research, you can actually look it up, look up the brand Air Shroud, and it reveals that's actually the company that makes that cover for that car. So 
it was a little thing that it did trick me for a second too when i was watching through the trailer i thought oh we're getting some porsche as well that's a sneaky little thing that they can hide with it being on top of the cover for the audi that they're revealing which would also be kind of funny then why they have Porsche on the cover anyway, but no, slowing it down, the footage, and also just looking at the logo, you can tell it's different from a Porsche logo, it just has a similar type of build to it, the logo, the logos both look very similar, but it says Air Shroud underneath it as well in the text, and for it being a company that makes covers for cars, it makes sense that that would be their logo there. There are only two pieces of speculation left right now, and this one might actually be a big one. So in this photo, you can see right here the Audi R8 V10, and then also a unknown car that was cropped out in the background of the teaser trailer. Now, I had honestly no clue what this car was, so then I went to my closest option to what can get me the identifi identification of this car as quickly as possible, which was r slash what is this car. I posted it on there, and I got two results which are both very similar a mercedes-benz 190e either with the 16v or the cosworth package on it so it's still a mercedes-benz 190e but the main thing to take from that is that it is a mercedes-benz now the interesting part about this is that it's a mercedes-benz why would they put a mercedes-benz in the back of this teaser trailer it would seem kind of odd for them to unintentionally put a mercedes-benz 190e especially as interesting as a car as the Mercedes-Benz 190E. Now, it does have, like, a bit of history behind it and stuff, because it did used to be a motorsport car and stuff like that, but it just seems kind of odd with there being an Audi R8 V10, and with, I'm assuming they probably commissioned someone or something, or rented these cars, or did something, had some way to possibly get these cars to be in this trailer, and for them to be a, have a second car in the background... And for that car to be the Mercedes-Benz 190E, it just does seem a bit suspicious. Like, you'd think it would probably be another supercar, or maybe another Audi, or another Audi R8 even. But for it to be the Mercedes-Benz 190E, it is a bit puzzling. Especially because both cars are also cars from German manufacturers, Mercedes and Audi. So, it is just a little interesting to speculate on if we would be um, getting the Mercedes-Benz 190E into the game, or... Just more additions to Mercedes in the game in general. It would be pretty interesting to see. Or maybe it was just completely unintentional and there's just a Mercedes-Benz 190E in the background. And I'm just rambling on about nothing. So we will have to see. This is just speculation for whenever the update does come. But I did think that was an interesting detail. How there is this Mercedes in the background. And if it could bring interesting new additions to the game or more content to the game, that would be another brand which already exists, but it would be nice to have a Mercedes refresh as well because Mercedes has been needing a refresh and maybe this is the update that will do it. But we will just have to see for the waiting day because right now this is just speculation and we've got no clue. And now moving on to the next and final piece of speculation. The last piece of speculation is actually the title of the update, which is called World Expo. Now, the interesting thing about the title is instead of how previous updates we had like American Frontier, um, German Renaissance, European Revolution. Now, that is an interesting one, though, because Europe isn't just one country. It is a bunch of different countries grouped into a continent. And the thing is, with the world, it is international. The world is everything on Earth. And that's the difference between the previous updates where we had the country's name in the update and then it's featured cars from that specific country. Now we do have two cars in the teaser trailer which are identified which are both German, one of which is confirmed which is Audi to be in the update, except the update is called World Expo. So could that mean that potentially this will be another international update like European Revolution, except maybe even more international going outside of Europe and getting other countries as well added into this update. So it's just a gigantic congregation of cars from all around the world added into this update, maybe to spice up a bunch of areas and a bunch of different brands that could need some spicing up in the game so it would be interesting to see it could just be a german update and they just gave it a cool name like world expo because it is definitely a cool name or it could mean that this update might be international so we are actually not sure what cars are being added from which brands and even which countries in this update we are not sure of that the only thing we are sure of is that we are getting audi and that is something i'm very happy to be sure of because i'm definitely excited for these audis but that is going to be it for this video and I'm definitely happy that Hutch allowed me to have this opportunity to share that teaser with you and then also be able to make this video as well. 
Now, most of this is speculation, so don't take any of it too seriously. It's more just me having fun with it and looking at all the minute details that appeared in this teaser trailer, because I am definitely excited for this update for when it comes out, and there's definitely going to be a lot of content coming then. So definitely hit the subscribe button, like and subscribe, also join my Discord server because we've got a newsroom that's highlighting cool stuff, and we've got just a bunch of Top Drives channels, plus other channels as well, if you're not maybe as interested in Top Drives and you just want to talk, because we've got that as well, but it's it's a Top Drives server though, so there's a lot of Top Drives going on as well, so if you like Top Drives, definitely join, I would recommend. But enough about the Discord server and the like and subscribing, I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, I'm Yellowfin, and goodbye.